and pulling up a video of the giraffes. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Licking on this flag. Oh, fence oh, pole. Oh, yes, yeah, honey. <laughs> All right. We are live this morning. Rick's not a morning show. Uh, we on um, we on Facebook Live while I'm talking because I want everybody uh, to know if. Uh, so yesterday I was up, up studying offense and getting myself ready for college football for next year because I'm bored. I, I just can't wait to watch basketball until they get to the Final Four. So you study the plays just so watch, you can kind of like I, coach from the sidelines from the crib. I have all the college football games recorded. I watch football games all day in my 600-pound life. And on Thursdays, I watch First 48. <laughs> all right, so if, if, if everybody uh, want to make some good soup, the soup I made yesterday was called the Steak and Shrimp Soup. Combo. Steak and shrimp soup. And this is a real simple recipe. Now, first of all, I want everybody, uh, if you can, go out and invest into a, a power, P-O-W-E-R, a power pressure cooker. You can buy it at Target. They got the uh, the smaller one and they have the big one. Uh, it's called the power pressure cooker. I cook this soup in 30 minutes. All right? So it's an easy recipe, and I'm about to go ahead and give it to you. Uh, you need about... Five cans of uh, Hunt's stewed tomatoes. Yes. You got that? Write that down, Brett. Hunt's stewed Hunt's, tomatoes. Hunt's stewed tomatoes. You got that, Juicy? Yes. Okay. You need some Miss Dash. Miss Dash, and, and it's not a certain amount. You, it's just whatever to your thing because when you cook it, you know, you got to taste stuff to see do it need more seasoning or less seasoning. Exactly. So you use Miss Dash, uh, the, the, the one that's in the yellow, mm -hmm. the yellow bottle Miss Dash. You know, they got the yellow one and they got the purple one with uh, herbs. The, right. But use the yellow Miss Dash, the original Miss Dash. Mm -hmm. And then use Lowry's. Put some Lowry's in there. Yes, Lowry's. Yep. And go ahead and get you some accent salt. Spread yes. Use some accent salt in there because accent salt wakes up the flavor. Yes, oh, it does. Right. And you know what? When you taste it, it don't have no flavor, but it sure wake up the flavor it, in it that food. It wakes up yeah. the flavor in it the does. food. It does. All right, go ahead and sprinkle. Use some black pepper. If you want it to have a little kick, use kind of uh, almost a lot of black pepper. Okay, so go ahead and get you some little thin cut steaks. It don't have to be the real, real thin cut steak. You can get some medium sized steaks and just throw them all in there, even if they're in the deep freezer. Because one thing about a pressure cooker, you don't have to thaw the meat out. You just throw the steaks in there or whatever and pour everything in there. You don't have to mix nothing up. So you put the steaks in there. You go ahead and put your five cans of stewed tomatoes in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, buy you the frozen bag of the little carrots and English peas and green beans. Uh, what else come in that little bag? That's it. Sometimes yeah. carrots, green beans. Corn. Uh, yeah, corn. Yeah, the corn. Every now and then broccoli every now and then. Right. But but uh, uh, the, the, the corn, the well, green the corn, beans. The green beans and the, um, the carrots. carrots oh, and Christ the English it. peas. Yeah. They come in the bag. The frozen yeah, bag the out of the frozen section at Walmart. Yeah, okay, so you put that in there. Yeah, mixed vegetables. So after you put that in there, you got the steak in there. You got the stewed tomatoes in there. Uh, you can throw your whole onion in there if you yes, like. Yes, some throw, garlic. Yeah, garlic. cut the Ooh. onions off at the end. Throw the whole onion in there. It's going to separate and divide itself. Separate Open. and divide. Divide it. Separate. Couple. Absolutely. Yes. So then what you do, you set, you set it to soup if you have a power pressure cooker, and you set it for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. So what happens is the pressure cooker does not allow the steam to go on the outside. Mm -hmm. So when the steam don't go on the outside, it cooks everything from the inside out. So only thing you have to do is when it's done is stir it. So when you get through, you throw in your jumbo shrimp at the end. Do Ooh. not put the shrimp in there while it's cooking. Throw the shrimp in there at the end, stir it up, and put the top back on there, and the shrimp is going to cook itself. So there you go if you want some good. And now how did the soup taste? Amazing. It was awesome. It was lovely. Yeah. <laughs> what you like about it, Juicy? Oh, my God. You can taste the seasoning all throughout the you soup. Can. It was really, really good. Mm -hmm. it, and it didn't, it wasn't heavy. It, it wasn't was, no. heavy at all. It wasn't heavy at all. It, it was, was light. Heavy. And it could the be stewed breakfast. tomatoes was cooked perfectly. Like, yeah. every bite, you tasted the juice from the soup. Right. It was good. The shrimp wasn't overcooked and mushy. Like, right. I was expecting the shrimp to be a little soft. I ain't going to lie. But I was right. like, oh, they was perfect. Had that look, that look, that look. Yep, and you the know? corn <laughs> still had the crunch. It was good. I like the stewed tomatoes that was in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Beyonce, what did you think about yours? I loved it, and the steak was soft, but it was the juice. I had to go back and get some more the juice. Broth. The yeah, broth. Oh, yeah, my God. Yeah, the broth is on point. And if you got a little baby, that's some good little pot liquor for him. Yeah. Put a little bit in it, bottle. Yeah, you <laughs> want. So, uh, if you want to get the recipe, you can go 
the Ricky Smiley Morning Show, uh, rickysmileymorningshow.com, and there's a live video of the recipe, and I, uh, I, I'm about to post this picture of Brett with a head down in the bowl, <laughs> killing it. Yeah. All right, so, so I'm about to post that, too. Damn. All right, y'all. <laughs> Bernie Jenkins got the church announcements coming up next. Ricky Smiley Morning Show. <laughs> We're coming. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, I hope y'all having a birthday. Hey, that steak and shrimp soup was the bomb. What up, uh, everybody from Chicago? Good morning, y'all. Y'all, hey, but listen, go to um, go to Target. And buy the power pressure cooker. And so we're gonna start us a power pressure cooker club. And I'm gonna show I'm gonna give y'all different recipes. You don't even have to um you don't have to cook greens all day anymore. I'm gonna show you how to make some collard greens with the power pressure cooker. Because greens, collard greens, they take too long to cook, they smell up your whole house. I can have you some collard greens in one hour with everything raw. And, uh, uh, so I'm telling y'all, man, make sure y'all check it out. Go back and uh, <laughs> go back and watch the video, man, because that soup was everything. It was so good they actually ate it for breakfast. They didn't have no bacon and eggs this morning. They had. Uh, so we're about to post the recipe. Just go back and watch this video right here on Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Dot com. I'm about to show y'all a picture of it. I got a picture of it, of how the soup look. Let me show it to you in my phone. That soup was fire. So here's a good look at it. Good soup. It was good. Hey, what up, Deidre, Justin, Hennessy Williams? Tiffany, what's up? Good morning, y'all. Yeah, so, uh, hey, make sure that y'all enjoy that, man. That is a good soup, shrimp and steak soup. That pressure is going to tear that steak apart. You don't even have to cut it. The pressure cooker is going to rip the steak apart because it cooks from the inside out. So it's going to be good. And I hope y'all enjoy it, man. And thank y'all for listening to the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Are you, are you?